hello guys and welcome to today's tutorial video and today we are going to be talking about pi now pi network is a digital cryptocurrency project that was developed in march 2019 by a team of stanford university graduates now the pi network basically enables users to use their mobile devices to mine pi coins and verify transactions on a distributed record now according to the developers the pi coin is the first cryptocurrency that can be mined entirely on a mobile device and all you need to do is download the pi network app from your google play store or from your app store and then use the invitation code from one of the existing members and then you are good to go so without wasting any much time let us get into the pi app so now when you log into your pi app you would see the interface like this and at the top left you have the hamburger icon that houses everything from home to mainnet to pi browser to the utility to transfer mine pi referral team rules chat node faq the white paper support portal core team profile and all of the social media handles and then on the front page you have the whole information about the core team and what they are planning you also have the invite down there you have the mainnet info and then you have the mainnet checklist wallet tutorial you also have at the top right the whole language settings you can configure to your preferred language and then you have the chat this is used to chat with your security circle and then you have the shield that your security circle gives to you and then you have the members in your security circle and then you have the thunderbolt looking sign and that is where you click to mine your pie all right now so this video is basically for people who want to migrate to mainnet or have a few questions about mainnet so uh, pi has migrated to mainnet and for you to benefit from everything that will come with mainnet which is spending your pi using it to buy products from any of the pi malls that might be introduced you would have to make sure that your mainnet checklist is completed and to do this you just click on mainnet checklist now this mainnet checklist will load up all of the seven categories that you are supposed to complete so you have to download the pi browser you have to create a pi wallet confirm your pi wallet you have to commit to lockup submit your kyc application wait for kyc result migrate to mainnet and then the eighth one is invite your team to complete their kyc transfer now if all of this has been completed it should only be ticked like this in green and that means that you have completely completed everything that you are supposed to do on the pi mainnet checklist now if you are done with uh, everything concerning your mainnet and then you want to just have a little more information you click on the hamburger icon and click on mainnet now in this mainnet you have your balance dashboard now you have the unverified balance and these are balances that are estimated by your security circle or your referrals these are not the ones that you actually mind the ones that will be transferred to your mainnet balance are the pies that you mind by yourself so basically you might have a whole lot of pie but they don't all belong to you until your security circle completes their whole mainnet checklist then you will be able to migrate all of your pie to mainnet so also you have the transferable balance to mainnet now this is an approximation of the pie that is available for you to transfer to your mainnet after you have completed your whole steps in the mainnet checklist including passing your kyc so before you can actually migrate your pie you must have completed your kyc now this is what they call migrated to mainnet so the whole amount that you have successfully transferred and the whole amount that belongs to you will be sent here this is after completing all the mainnet checklist steps and your transfer room balance to mainnet is migrated to your wallet this will display the total amount of pi migrated to your mainnet wallet so anything you see here is your pi that is accrued to you over time of mining now like i explained you have the mainnet checklist all right so another feature that i would like you to know about is the configure lockup rate 
so if you click on this configure your corporate you know that uh, compulsory lil pi needs every pioneer to lock up a percentage of their pi that has been accrued to them uh, for me the lock up percentage i choose is 50 percent and the duration is six months but if you would like to do more you can swipe it to 200 percent and then you can also lock your duration for three years but i like to keep mine simple because if pi becomes a reality i would like to have something to test around with so this is what this whole configure to lock up settings is if you are done you just click on save also if you would like to read a whole lot about pi you can see the new white paper chapters there now if you click on that it will load up for you and then it will show you all of pi's white paper this is the most updated of them all and it is very 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 informative so if you scroll all the way down you can see that it is very informative so you just take your time and read all of this now also if you would like to do your pi kyc uh, for you to become a verified member or a verified pioneer you just click on the hamburger icon and then you click on pi browser you sign into the pi browser it is going to load up once it loads up like this, you will see chat.py, wallet.py, brainstorm.py, mind.py, blockchain.py, develop.py, kyc.py. Now, what is important here is kyc.py. Now, you click on that and it takes you to the kyc page. So, all of this is just a basic walkthrough through the Pi app. So, if you would like to know more about the Pi app, if you would like to get more info about everything listed on the hamburger icon, take your time to click on each and every one of them. Play around it and you get to understand properly what all of them are used for. Now, this is just a basic maneuver or a basic navigation of the Pi app. So, I believe that this video has been very informative. I wish you all the best of luck as you mine your pie. Thank you very much.